Shayna Kanemoto was 22 and had a four-year-old son of her own when she got a devastating diagnosis. She had a type of bone cancer growing near her left hip, and she needed radiation to get rid of the tumor. But first, her doctor needed to bring up an important topic, preserving her fertility. Her doctor told her if they removed her left ovary and froze it, it could save it from radiation damage and could improve her chances of someday having more children. They also said that later down the road, if I can't um, have a child with just my right ovary, then they can put the left ovary back in and hope for the best. Patients battling cancer may not be thinking that far ahead, but fertility consultation and preservation is a big part of treatment in the adolescent and young adult oncology program at Cincinnati Children's. I think patients have a certain picture of themselves and they picture themselves either as a teacher in the future, as a mom in the future, as a dad in the future. And I think that when they come to whatever institution and receive a diagnosis of malignancy, it's scary. And they start questioning if they're going to be able to fulfill those dreams that they had. Cincinnati Children's consistently earns U.S. News and World Report rankings as one of the nation's top pediatric cancer centers and prides itself on helping patients get past cancer and on to the rest of their lives. Discussing fertility can help them move toward that. And it can offer hope even at the time of diagnosis. So you've just been handed this life-changing piece of information and you're going to begin chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or surgery to treat this cancer that you never expected to have. And you, you're in a situation you never expected to find yourself in. And we're able to come in and talk about the future. Fertility preservation for women can mean cryopreservation or freezing and storing eggs or ovarian tissue for later use. For men, it can mean freezing and storing testicular tissue or sperm. The last thing you want is for something like disease to make decisions for you. I, I think that you always want to at least have the option to do what you want to do. And if, for, if going to the fertility clinic is the way to, to allow yourself to be able to make that decision, then I think you have to at least consider it. Parents and patients have found it um, refreshing and helpful that we're talking about it because I think it also reinforces to them that we see their future and their future after their treatment and when they're beyond their cancer. Just the fact that they were planning ahead and they were actually thinking about the future as well, um, that's just a comfortable feeling. Like when I, when I thought about it later on, it's just like, you know, they're here to help me out and they actually do care about me and they're trying to help. For Shayna, fertility preservation offers hope of better days ahead and maybe even more children. I always see the light at the end of the tunnel. For more information about our adolescent and young adult oncology program and fertility preservation services, visit www.cincinnatichildrens.org/aya.